and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look once again at the Hot Wheels 2023 mainline. And we are here today with the Art Cars, a series I have been wanting to look at forever. And now I am finally getting the opportunity to do so here on the channel. What we have here today are 10 Hot Wheels cars. They are all part of the Art Car series. Each car in this series features a different art style, per se. And, uh, Basically, what the whole point of the series is, is that when you finish getting all the cars and you put them all together, it spells out a phrase. And I'm going to try and show that to the best of my ability at the end of the video. I cheated and Googled what the phrase was that it spells out because when I tried to figure it out on my own, I couldn't figure it out because the final car in today's set actually makes up for two letters instead of one. Because if you notice, each of the cars you see right now have letters on top of them, and that's because of the thing you can spell out a word. One of the cars has two letters on top of it, not just one. I was an idiot, and I didn't realize that. So when I was trying to figure it out on my own, I kept screwing it up. But anyway, yes, 10 cars. We're going to get through this today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Some of these are actually pretty cool. Some of them not so much. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it with the first one here, which is Track Manga. Now, Manga, track manga, not manga. I'm an idiot. It's manga, yeah. Track manga. I am terrible for some reason at that kind of... I, the, this name always screws me up. I always call it manga, and it is not manga. It's manga. And, uh, yeah, the reason why it's called that, obviously, is because if you look at the paint scheme, it has a manga art style, which manga is uh, Japanese comic books in a way, I guess you could say. I am going to have a a hornet's nest of angry weebs in my comment comment section after this. Anyway, so yeah, that's the car we got here and the, co the, the comic book style. I'm just going to straight up call it a comic book style at this point just to mess with people. But yeah, we got this really neat comic book style going on here, which is pretty neat. And I can't wait to get this one open. So let's start it off the first car for today's video. I have a bad history with this car. Every single version of track manga that I have has a screwed up paint job on it. Hopefully this one does not follow suit with that, but we will see. And uh, yeah, this one also has a special feature attached to it as well. So here we go, the track manga. We have a green body with a blue uh, chassis, blue tires with yellow rims and a sky blue window insert. So as you can see what this is supposed to be is it's supposed to be the mad manga Hot Wheels car with a uh, basically it's redone so that way it's a convertible and it's more suitable for race tracks rather than just an actual out and driving car it's supposed to look like a japanese fantasy sports car is what it's supposed to look like and as you can see on the side panel here we have what appears to be a mecha fox on the side um which i i a gundam fox i guess you could say i don't know anything about japanese culture or anything like that i'm really bad with that kind of stuff but White Hot Wheels logo, you get the letter K right here. It's just screaming the letter K by the looks of things, which is really funny. But uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. This side's exactly, oh my God, this side is actually different. So here we can see the uh, Robo Fox appearing to punch through the sidewall of the car here, which looks really cool with the letter K all over the place. Got a K on the shield there. Uh, no detail on the front end. The hood has all of the detail though. Look at this. So we got the Mecha Fox once again. Or maybe it's a coyote. It's a coyote. I don't know what it is. Got the K's here. Massive K. This is the roof letter, by the way. You'll notice that the biggest letter is always on the roof. Right there. Got those. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Like the, the tailpipes coming out the hood. I don't know what that's but The exhaust. Now on the back, I'm pretty sure that says Hot Wheels. 99% sure that says Hot Wheels. Maybe. I don't know. Editor, do the dirty work for me. What does that say? Thank you. And, uh... We got the back end with nothing on it. Here's the bottom. And then, of course, as I said, this car does have a little bit of a function to it. It has an adjustable and adjustable front end spoiler. So you can flip that, flip that up and down. If you're driving on a flat surface, you want it down. If you're doing inclines, you're going to want it up to reduce air or resistance. But yeah, there you go. That is our first car, which is the track manga manga never mind i did just pretend i'm saying it correctly every time i say it thank god that car's done and over with i'm just gonna google it i'm gonna google it and see if i'm pronouncing it correctly i know i'm not so i shouldn't even bother doing that but you know ah man all right next up we have a pretty interesting one i really like the art style on this one next up number two of ten is the 70s van with what appears to be a crossword style uh 
paint job here. Pretty cool. So let's get her open, shall we? The letter on this one is the letter N. So I don't know if you guys are keeping track of the letters or anything, but yeah. Also, this series does not have a chase piece in it. I feel like pointing that out right now. But all right, let's zoom in on the sucker, shall we? Here it is, the 70s van. We got a white body, a chrome chassis, black tires with gray rims, and a blacked out, almost like a smoked window insert. The side panel has a giant letter N on it with just a scramble of letters across the back reflector there, front reflector there. You got some bumpers and a side pipe there, I think is what that is meant to be. Hot Wheels logo there in black. And then if you look, you can kind of make out some words here, like it says uh, Mattel right here, the company that makes Hot Wheels car. Hot Wheels, eight cars. I don't know why it says eight. I don't know what the eight is there about. That doesn't really make too much sense to me. Weight cars, W8 weight cars. I don't know. I wonder if the, I don't know if that, oh, I guess there's just numbers everywhere. Never mind. Hot Wheels cars, Mattel, pretty cool stuff. This side is a bit different because this does not have pretty much anything written on it, I'm pretty sure. It just says wheels down here. Oh, since 1968, wheels. That's pretty cool. I didn't even see that because I'm not paying attention very well. But that's pretty neat. You can kind of see some different things right here. Pretty sweet, but pretty much the exact same thing. Front end has nothing on it, neither does the hood. We get up to the top here. You can see some more letters here. And uh, this functions more of like a crossword. Oh, shoot, I didn't even notice that. What do you bet it's like supposed to be a crossword? Like it's going up and down with the letters here and I didn't even notice that. To do it on this side too. No, it doesn't appear to be. Up here it does the, whoa, geez. So it says hot and then wheels right here, which is pretty sweet. And I don't think it does that anywhere else. Oh, hot wheels cars right here. And I don't see it anywhere else, but then you got the little roof vent there, the N and there's nothing on the back. So there you go, everybody. I can't really focus on the bottom of the thing here. There you go, right there. So that is the 70s van, everybody, our second car for today's video. A pretty cool one. I really like the paint job on that one. Very sweet. This next one's really interesting though. I think this is kind of meant to be like a splatter style paint job. And it's a pretty neat little casting too. We have number three of 10, the Baja Bone Shaker. And like I said, it has a splatter style like paint job here where like you how you take the paint and you take the paintbrush and you sort of just slap it onto the canvas. That's kind of what they were going for here. And it actually looks pretty cool. I like the color that they did on this one. And it is the letter P as well. I'm going to let you guys, if you guys don't know what the uh, what this spells out, what the cars spell out, I'm going to let you guys figure it out as you go maybe get out like a notebook and a piece of paper and see what you can come up with as we're going here and see if you can figure it out before i tell you at the end of the video that'd be pretty fun right get you engaged in the video here could be a fun thing to do maybe if you got some family sitting around you guys can figure it out have a competition see who's smarter kind of thing all righty so here we go we have the baja bone shaker black uh black body we've got this really interesting like raspberry colored like raspberry magenta colored chassis we got purple tires with gray skull rims, which looks really cool. I don't think I've ever seen these tires before on a Hot Wheels car. That is really interesting. No window inserts. So we have on the side panel here, the letter P in white, and then a pink Hot Wheels logo there. And then pink, purple, white, and orange paint just splattered all over the side of this here. Only on the door though. I wish they would have done it with the whole thing, but they only do it on the door. Still looks pretty neat though. Flip it over to the other side, we got the same thing. It's not mirrored though. The Hot Wheels logo is also missing on this side. Oh no, it's there, it's just really hard to see. Um, so you got all that detail there, pretty cool. The front end, you can see the Hot Wheels, or the Bone Shaker skull right there. Got the engine poking out the top with some pink splatter paint on the hood. The top hat features the P with the same color, just no pink paint up here, but the splattering once again. Got them little KC lights, those little floodlights up there. And then in the back, you got the spare tire, which is uh, has a uh, gray insert there for the rim. Pretty cool. And here's the bottom. So there you go. That is the third car for today's video, the Baja Bone Shaker. I love that casting, by the way. That is such a cool casting. Bone Shaker is just, just applicable to everything, ain't it? Alrighty. Now on to the next one. This car here features almost like a blueprint kind of art design here this is you're gonna trust me you're gonna see this and you're gonna fall in love with it this is actually really freaking cool next up we have the custom 2011 camaro number four of ten for the hot wheels art cars 
I like I said, awesome, right? Like this is this not just the coolest thing you've ever seen? So cool. Let's get it out of the package. That came off really easy. Holy crap. Car's rolling away. Alrighty, here we go. Let's zoom in. And the oh I forgot to say the letter on this one is I. So we have a K, an N, a P, and an I. And no, the word is not pink, just in case if you're trying to figure that out. It is not pink. All right, so here we go. We have a dark blue body, a dark gray chassis, white tires with dark blue ribs, and a sky blue window insert. The side panel features the letter I in white, uh, some crosshairs here and there. We got some you know, drafting size uh, scales right there. Hot Wheels logo in white, and then we have the car. The car that we are holding in our hands is drawn on the side of the vehicle in white as well, like it is a blueprint. This side is not the same. It is definitely uh, completely different. We've got, again, the drawing scale there, some crosshairs, Hot Wheels logo I, and then we have the back half of the car on this side, which is pretty cool. Also, I did not know this, but there's window mesh on this side, so it is definitely a race car, like a NASCAR style race car with the window mesh there, pretty cool. Maybe a circle track car. The hood features the eye once again. You got all the drawing scalings on here. As someone who has taken two years of drafting in his high school career, I am all too familiar with that kind of stuff. Got the crosshairs there. And then we've got this stuff here, which is the front of the car, as you can see. I don't know what this is over here. This is a drawing, I think, of the back end, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell. So you got the front of the car. Maybe that's the back. I don't know. And then the top actually has right here the uh, search code for the car as well as custom 11 Camaro, custom 2011 Camaro there. Uh, what appears to be the back of the car right here, crosshair, and there is nothing on the back or the front. So there you go, that is our fourth car for the video, the custom 2011 Camaro, really cool. I like that one a lot, that is really sweet. Alrighty. Now for another Camaro. That's right. So next up, this next car actually has a classic comic book paint job. It is the 1968 Copo Camaro with the letter R. So there you go. Add, add that letter to your list and keep trying to figure out what it spells out. All right. So here we go, everybody. Let's get this one opened. This is our fifth vehicle here. So we after this, we will be halfway through the video. Okay. Here we go, let's zoom in on this sucker. All right, so we got a yellow body, a chrome chassis, black tires with uh, light blue rims in the back and red rims in the front, and then we got the sky blue windshield again. Side panel has the Hot Wheels logo in black in that little speech bubble right there. You got the comic book stippling as well in red. The little explosion effects all around in all sorts of colors, and then Camaro written on the side with the big white R there, R being the letter, you know, Camaro, pretty cool. Flip it over to this side, it is not the same thing. This is again, I, one of my favorite things I've noticed so far with these cars is they're all, they all pretty much have split paint jobs, which I think is great. This side again, you got the stippling, but this time in blue, the explosion effects, except this time it says Copo and the letter R is in an explosion effect, almost like a kapow kind of thing. White Hot Wheels logo. Nothing on the front. The hood features the classic, the hood features the classic almost like the team Hot Wheels logo, which is really cool. Black stippling here with some effects that go all the way up to the top of the car here with that huge comic book R right there. Black details and the stippling, nothing on the back. And then here is the bottom of the car with all of the information you may need to sort out later. So there you go, everybody. That is the halfway point for today's video. That right there, the Copo Camaro, pretty solid. All right, so now we're going from one end of the spectrum to the other. I'd say that Copo Camaro is probably my favorite vehicle in this entire set. Maybe the other Camaro, I don't know. Now we're going to probably my least favorite vehicle in this entire set, which is the 2008 Ford Focus with uh, the letter I. Once again, we once again have the letter I here. And um, the I guess the art style that they tried to go with this one is just slapping stickers and like trying to cover the whole thing with stickers. But they did a really poor job of it. It would have been cool if this entire car was covered in stickers, but for some reason they only did the door panels and the roof. It looks really unfinished. I really don't like this at all. 
I do find it funny though that the Ford Focus is baby blue because my dad used to own a Ford Focus that was baby blue as well and it's really funny to see that. Not the same year though. Alrighty, here we go. The Ford Focus right here. Baby blue body, a black chassis, black tires with pink rims in the back and white rims up front. And we have a P uh, urine colored window insert. Wonderful, that looks amazing. Um, so as you can see here, we have a blue eye taking up the whole thing. And then the side panel is just covered in stickers for all sorts of different brands. You got Hot Wheels hidden there. Uh, all of these different brands that I do not know how to pronounce because I've never heard of them before in my entire life. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to figure that out. This side is mirrored, or this side is not exactly the same. I gotta quit auto-correcting to that. You got the blue eye and then the stickers are all different colors on this side, which is really interesting. Nothing on the hood or the front, and then the top has the eye again. Again, all of the stickers, but once again, they are all in different colors. And then there's the back end with the spoiler. There's the bottom. That is the 2008 Ford Focus, the most boring car in this entire set, in my opinion. The paint job is absolutely boring. And I really feel like with this series, the art cars, if your car doesn't have a very good paint job, it kind of just ruins it because... They're art cars. It really, the casting of the car does not matter in this series whatsoever. It's the paint job that's on it. So even if you like Ford Focuses, you still should be, you know, an adult enough to realize that that car sucks because its art style doesn't work. It looks bad. But here is an art style that I myself enjoy because this is like the only art style that I'm good at, and it is graphite drawings. So to represent the art of graphite pencil sketches and drawings in Hot Wheels form. We have the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect with the letter D. And oh my God, I love this paint job. This is so friggin' cool. It's not even funny. Now for the reason, the reason why this one's called the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect is because it's a Hot Wheels custom design of the Ford Transit. It's not, uh, I haven't been paying attention. Hold on. I forgot something that I usually do in these videos is, okay. Something I usually do in these videos is that if the, the casting is new for new for the year, then I read the back of the card to you guys, but none of these are actually new castings. Yeah, none of the cars in today's video are brand new for 2023. They're all reused castings, but anyway, where was I? Yes, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. This is a custom designed Ford Transit Connect by Hot Wheels. That's why it's called that. All right. Here we go hit that out of the way so it doesn't roll off the table that wouldn't be too nice you know what i'm saying okay here we go hot wheels ford transit connect with this really cool graphite drawing of a tiger on the side of it looks really solid here it is so we have a white body with a dark gray chassis almost like a graphite colored chassis graphite colored tires with black rims and then we have a uh, smoked window insert Got the Hot Wheels logo there, the D in pencil, and then of course you have this really cool sketch of the Tiger right here. Looks absolutely amazing. Got some rocks flying around and everything and what appears to be some trees back here. Maybe more rocks, I don't know. That looks absolutely amazing. This side is the exact same thing but mirrored. However, the Tiger might be slightly closer on this side. Really, really cool. Absolutely love that. The front has the Ford logo, which is an improvement over all of the other vehicles that we've seen so far. And then the top has the D written on it with all of the rocks, as you can see here. I love that so much. It just looks so good. Love the pencil sketch aesthetic. It looks nice. Delivery uh, doors on the back. There is the bottom. And that right there is the Ford Transit Connect by Hot Wheels, the letter D. Alrighty. Now this one here is actually really interesting. So this next car is almost in the style. You know those like murals you see in Chinese restaurants? That's kind of the art style that they went with for this one. And it is the 1976 Greenwood Corvette with the letter G. And as you can see, like I said, that art style, like a just a Chinese restaurant mural is kind of immediately what my uh, red-blooded American brain thought of there. So that's uh, that's nice. But anyway get it out of the package there let's throw that over there and righty so here we go we have a almost like a tapioca ish it's a lot brighter on my end i'm not gonna lie you guys are kind of seeing almost like a golden color this is more of like a tapioca yellow kind of thing on my end it's really weird 
I got the black letter G there, black chassis, black tires with uh, red rims, and then of course they smoke window inserts. So got the letter G there, Hot Wheels logo there, and then the dragon, the serpent going down the side. That looks really cool. I absolutely love that a lot. And this side is for the what the fudge? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, uh, maybe that was intentional. Ah man, that looks bad. You see how that isn't lining up? Okay, maybe it is lining up. That's just weird, though, because with this up here, it doesn't line up at all. That That's really disorientating. So I guess the side is exactly the same, but mirrored, so I'm not going to... Oh, no. The front end has the headlights and all that, and the hood features the head of the dragon with the claws. You can see the little flame outlines coming through right here with the tail of the dragon there. The G on the roof with the flames, and then on the back, we have that weird uh, rear end setup with the... Uh, Corvette design there. But yeah, there you go. That is the Greenwood Corvette right there with the letter G. That was vehicle number eight. We have two more to go and then we are done here. The next one is the 1972 Ford Ranchero with the Cubism art style, which I'm not going to lie. Cubism as an art style, I think looks incredibly dumb, but for some reason on cars, it looks really cool. The Ranchero the cool one here, this is a cool one, by the way, and they actually, it's kind of weird because, as you can see, they have like a peace sign on here. They've never made this into a Hot Wheels car. However, they did do this casting with this paint job, and it looks really good, both versions of it. I really do think that Cubism as a car paint job looks pretty neat. On As like actual art, though, it kind of looks a little dumb. But anyway, the 1972 Ford Ranchero, the letter V, by the way. Letter V. All right get this thing out of here there's a weird like little mark on the card all right here we go so there it is everybody we got a red body with a chrome chassis black tires with red rims in the back and uh chrome rims up front and then we got the sky blue window insert so as you can see we got a black hot wheels logo and the letter v in white there and then the whole side panel is just covered in all these different colorful uh, geometric figures. We got white, red, blue, yellow, and black just covering this whole side panel. And the same goes for this side panel. It is literally just mirrored. It is the exact same thing pretty much. Nothing too crazy to see here. Front end there, the hood has the same thing. No blue on the hood though, which I think is really interesting. And then the top has the V in red, and there's actually no color except for the black and red ones up here, which is really strange. I don't know what that's all about. There's the bed of the truck. There's the tailgate, no detail on the tailgate or anything. And there is the bottom. That right there, everybody, woo, almost dropped it, is the Ford Ranchero, car number nine of 10. And we got one more to go, which is car number 10 of 10. The final one we're gonna look at in today's video, which is Cloak and Dagger with the Dia de los Muertos paint job, which looks really, really cool. I love this, this is so cool. Cloak and Dagger, as you can see, also has a special feature, and it goes with the name of the vehicle. So, let's open it up, shall we? The final car for today's video. This is really neat. I had to check for a second, but I was having a kind of a forgetful moment there. The chase piece in the Art Car series for the year prior to this also had the, D or had the Dia de los Muertos paint job. So, I was a little thrown off there. All right, everybody, here we go. Cloak and dagger with the paint job here. As you can see, we got a black body, a clear chassis, white tires with black rims, and no window insert. Pretty cool stuff, as you can see here. We have the letter E, both uppercase and lowercase, on the wheel wells here with this nice little uh, design that kind of looks like it's rotating. We got some chili peppers right here with some skulls, some sugar skulls. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Got some flowers and some just little doily designs here and there, just kind of looking really cool. I forget what they would call those little like uh, napkin things that they hang from like the uh, archways in buildings and stuff during Dia de, de, de los Muertos. I, was, I don't know, I'm having a hard time today, holy crap. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. I forgot to point out the Hot Wheels logo there, that looks really cool. On the hood of the vehicle, we have this really cool, almost like a sugar skull design. You got the hearts as the eyes, you got the nose there with the little heart and or the flowers is the eyes. I mean, oh God, that looks really solid. I like that a lot. And then the top has the uppercase and lowercase E. This car, I want to point this out, is not just the letter E. It's actually two letter E's. Two. Okay. Keep that in mind if you're still trying to figure out what the what the puzzle is. 
Got the skull there, the whole design and everything looks really solid. And yeah, so that is pretty much the entirety of that car. Or is it? So the reason why this car is called Cloak and Dagger is for this reason right here. The top part of this car actually comes off. And you heard it just click there. So we still have more of this car to look at. As you can see here, we have these ivory colored tires with skull wheels once again. And you can see the innards of the car now. This looks really weird, not gonna lie. You can see the innards of the car there. Pretty friggin' sweet. Kind of looks like a, a skeleton almost. I think that's what they were going for. Maybe it's meant to be it's meant to be a representation of the Grim Reaper, I bet. This is the skeleton and this is the cloak that he wears. That's why it's called Cloak and Dagger. This is the cloak, and as you can see, this is the dagger. You can see the sharp end there. But yeah, so there you go, everybody. That right there is Cloak and Dagger the final car for today's video. I've already broken the car. I cannot believe it. I already broke the car. Look at that. Do you see that? It's broken. I can't believe it. It took, it was that quick and I already broke it. I cannot believe that. All right. So there you go, everybody. That's, that's cloak and dagger. And that is not looking good. Oh Lord. I don't even know how to fix that. Yikes. Um, yeah. So there you go, everybody. That's the final car, car number 10. Let's get on to the turntables right now. Alrighty, everybody, there you go. That is all of the cars right there. Pretty sweet from left to right and out of order from what we did it in. We have Track Manga, Cloak and Dagger, Baja Bone Shaker, the Ford Transit Connect, the Copo Camaro, the normal Camaro, the, or the custom Camaro, I guess you could say, the Ford Ranchero, the Ford Focus, the 70s van, and the Greenwood Corvette. Now, I have these set up the way I do for a very specific reason that you are about to see right now, actually. So, as I said, these do spell out something, but you got to look at it from a different angle. Because if you look at it normally, you won't see it, 
But if you look at it from a specific angle, like the one you're looking at right now, you can see what it says. Keep driving. Such a cool detail. I love that they do that with the art cars where they make it spell something out. That is just so cool in my opinion. And uh, I hope to God I did not spell this wrong because that would be really embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure I did it correctly. And uh, yeah, there you go, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed and I will uh, see you in the next diecast unboxing video. Thank you and good night.